today we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. They will look upon him whom they have pierced. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. What are these springs of salvation? These springs of salvation are his wounds, the wounds in his hands, the wounds upon his, his side. In Isaiah chapter 53 verse 2, the Bible says that when he was crucified, there was no comeliness in him. There was no beauty in him. He looked ugly. He was not looking good. And why? Because of us. Because of you. Even in Zechariah chapter 13 verse 6, the Bible says that when he will return, who? Jesus. When he will return, people will still ask him, why these wounds in your hands? And the answer he will give to them is, I got these wounds in my friend's house. These wounds in my hands, I got them in my friend's house. So when you look at this image of Jesus, the sacred heart, or you look at the cross, what do you see? Do you appreciate him? Do you see this flame of love coming out from his wounds? When you look into these wounds or look at this image of the sacred heart of Jesus, does this image of the sacred heart of Jesus resemble your heart? Or does your heart resemble this sacred heart of Jesus? If it does not resemble this image, then what we shall say is Jesus make an humble of heart. Please make my heart like unto thy. Jesus make an humble of heart. You know that I am a liar, but I want you to make my heart like unto thy. Jesus make an humble of heart. I have tried my best to stop this sin, but I cannot. Please make my heart like unto thine. I have tried to forgive this my friend, my parents, but I cannot. Please make my heart like unto thine.